So the last thing we're going to be doing together is the cosine rule. And don't worry too much. You have had the Pythagoras theorem. You have done the ordinary trigonometry, the sine, the cosine, the tangent. You have done the sine rule. And now we are doing this cosine rule. And trust me, after this, it's finished. All right, this is the last one. No more unpleasant or pleasant surprises, okay? But now let's have a look at this situation, yeah? So we are looking at the triangle. Well, first of all, it's not a right angle triangle, eh? so we cannot just use the ordinary sine, cosine, or tangent. They want us to find, they want us to calculate a particular length. Uh, well, naturally, I can't use Pythagoras theorem there. It's not a right angle triangle. But with the sine rule, we said, well, if I have its teammate's angle, and I have another full team, I can actually use the sine rule to calculate it. But do I have a full team? I have a length, but not its teammate angle, another length, and not his or her teammate angle. And there's also no way to calculate those angles either. So the sine rule doesn't apply in this case. And then we can use the cosine rule. And we're just gonna write down the cosine rule here now. And then in the next videos, we're gonna do some example questions, okay? So the cosine rule says the following. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus two times B times C times the cosine of A. Oh dear, that looks a little bit intimidating, but don't worry too much, okay? You have known from the sine rule that if we have a particular angle here, huh, which we write in capitals, we have its teammate length. And the same thing happens here. So A, its teammate length would be on this side, all right, which we call lowercase a. Capital B has a teammate length there, lowercase b, yeah? and C, capital C has its teammate length there, lowercase c. So these A, B's and C's relate to the sides of the triangle. Now, if I want to find this length, yeah, this A corresponds to the cosine of A. So I need his angle. And as you can see, they give it to me. So for this particular case, I'm gonna write down that uh, X squared equals the other two lengths squared, uh, B and C, or C and B, yeah, so nine squared, plus seven squared, minus two times those two lengths again, two times nine times seven, times the cosine, and you, now you make sure that you have identified the team properly here, yeah? so the cosine of 50 degrees. So do not just take any other angle, no, you make sure that with the cosine rule, yeah, that you are looking at the proper team. Okay, and then really, we just have to plug in our calculator yeah, or work it out ourselves a little bit. Nine squared, 81, plus 49, and minus, and I'm going to put that in my calculator if you don't mind. So that is two times nine times seven times the cosine of 50 equals, so I'm gonna put that down, and it says 80.99123. Nine and x squares equals. I'll put a minus sign in front of that. Um, okay, so eighty-one plus forty-nine minus eighty point nine nine one two three nine equals, and it's giving me an answer there. It says forty-nine point zero zero eight seven six one. Uh, that, of course, is a little bit big for that length because I still have to square root that. And as you can see, well, that is pretty much 7, isn't it? Because 49 is a square number. But anyway, just do it properly of that answer because I'm just making those questions up on the spot. It tells me to three significant figures. Well, let me just write down everything first. 0, 0, 0, 6, 2, 5, 7, 5, 8. So to three significant figures, it's going to be... 7.00, okay, they belong to the answer. All right, so the cosine rule in general says a squared equals b squared plus c squared, and please do not mix that up uh, with Pythagoras theorem. We don't have hypotenuse here, yeah? But that is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a, all right? Now, if you're looking for an actual angle, you can rearrange that formula 
yeah as long as you match it up with its proper teammate again yeah so you can fill in all the other knowns and then rearrange it and then do the inverse cosine to find a particular angle okay now this still uh, might sound as a bit of abracadabra to you don't worry let's have a look at the example questions try a couple yourself and you'll notice that you can do this yeah this is um these are the higher grades on an igcse or gcse um, exam paper okay so it's not supposed to be easy yeah but i do know that we can all do this okay so let's have a go next video